We all feel sad and lonely at times, which is why it's important to know what you can do when you feel this way. Today, I'm going to share 100 different things that you can do when you feel sad and lonely. <music> Hey, I'm Mallory, I'm a teen therapist, and I love making mental health videos for teens like you. So I have a lot to share with you today, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Here is a list of 100 things that you can do when you feel sad and lonely. You can read a book, write a story, do your homework, journal, listen to music, dance to music, make some music of your own. You can even sing along to your favorite song. Try writing a letter to someone that you feel grateful for, then read that letter to them. Make a gratitude list, writing down all the things you feel grateful for, or at least three. Do your makeup. Try a new hairstyle. Draw a picture of your favorite place. Paint something that makes you feel happy. Color a mandala. You can find these just by googling mandala coloring sheets. Write down any negative thought that you're having and then say it out loud in a funny voice or an accent. Set a timer for 10 minutes and just allow yourself to feel your feelings. Give yourself a hug. Write a letter to your future self and hide it somewhere in your room so you find it later. Make a friendship bracelet. Try meditating. I really like using the app Calm, but you can also just Google guided meditations and there will be free ones that pop up too. Make a healthy snack. Bake a cake. Make some chocolate chip cookies. Clean your room because let's be real, is it ever fully clean? Take your dog on a walk. Make a fort in your room out of pillows and blankets. Give yourself a silly makeover. Declutter your closet. Write a letter of support to your troops. And don't forget to mail it. Look for inspiring quotes and write them down so that you can look at them later. Write down your goals and dreams for the future. What are you working and building towards? Make a vision board. Play a video game. Write a poem about how you feel. Play solitaire. Work on a puzzle. Start writing your college essay. Surprise your family by making dinner for them. Go out in your backyard and pull some weeds. Or you can rake some leaves or shovel snow. It all depends on where you live. Sign up to volunteer. Apply for a job. Or if you already have one, call your boss and see if they need some extra help stretch. Do some yoga. Try deep breathing. Paint your nails. Learn a new skill like writing Japanese. Watch some YouTube videos like this one. Laugh at funny memes. Make your own meme. Sit and imagine what your life will look like in 20 years. Make your bed. 90% of you haven't done it yet. Take the dishes from your room and in the sink and wash them. Fold your laundry. Put that clean laundry away. Get out in nature for 10 minutes. Take some selfies. Make sure that your school bag or purse is packed and ready for the next day. Make plans with a friend. Watch a movie. Look in the mirror and repeat positive affirmations to yourself. Listen to a podcast. I'm really digging affirmation pod. Listen to an audiobook. Vacuum. Go around the house and dust. Clean the bathroom. Wash your face. Take a quick cat nap. Change your phone screen to something that makes you laugh. Clean your desk. Drink some water. Do something you've been procrastinating on. Take a hot shower. Open the windows and enjoy the fresh air. Apologize for something you did wrong. Trust me, you'll feel better. Put on a pair of cozy socks. Drink some herbal tea or hot cocoa. Soak in a bubble bath. Watch your favorite show. And if you need a good suggestion, I highly recommend The Office or Parks and Rec. Let go of a grudge you've been holding. Smile for a full minute. It's harder than you think. Pose like a superhero. Make a zen tangle. Rip up old papers you don't need anymore. Organize all those photos you have saved on your phone. And while you're at it, delete the apps that you don't use. Floss. Look up funny pickup lines. Listen to a new band that you've never heard of before. Massage your scalp. Rub lotion on your hands. Smell some essential oils or scented candles that you really enjoy. Look at old photos. Practice saying your name in a new accent. Text a friend. Tell someone how you feel. Call your best friend. Yep, an actual phone call. You can also try something from your self-care bingo for teens. Have no idea what I'm talking about? Watch the video on your screen right now and I'll tell you all about it. And don't forget, make sure you share this video because you never know who needs it. Thanks for watching.